One of the things to understand about Rebus is that he isn't actually from Edinburgh. He's an outsider looking in. I'm on my way to Rebus's hometown, Carden Den, across the fourth rail bridge, the umbilical cord that links Fife to Edinburgh. The Kingdom of Fife, a county that's written a lot of history. A beggar's mental, fringed with gold. That was how one Scottish king described the Kingdom of Fife. Some of that gold grows on the county's rich agricultural plain. There's gold below Fife's plains too, black gold. Rebus was born into a Scotland reliant on traditional industries like coal. Across the central belt, most communities were, in effect, owned by the mining companies. They provided the miners with housing, electricity, medical care. They even constructed whole new towns alongside the pits, one of which was Carden Den. At school, Rebus learnt that Carden Den means den of witches. The next stop is Carden Den. Carden Den had grown up around coal, hurried streets constructed in the 20s and 30s to house the incoming miners. Rebus's family moved here because, like everyone else, his father was a miner. But suddenly, when Rebus was barely a teenager, the klaxon which signalled the shift changes at the pit stopped. As the coal industry collapsed in the 1960s, the sense of despair grew. If you've not worked it out already, this is my hometown, as well as Rebus's. Rebus's past is inextricably linked to my own. We grew up in the same cul-de-sac, shared the same underage adventures, and even the same pets. This is Craigmead Terrace, where I was brought up. Um, before this, my family lived in, I think, 17th Street. The streets in Carden Den were, didn't have names, they had numbers, because they were thrown up very quickly by the, the mining community that needed workers. I grew up here. I can't remember if I name it in the books, but you should take it as read that Rebus grew up in Craigmead Terrace, Carden Den. I remember every summer the smell of creosote when people were doing their fences and their doors. Um, one of my favourite smells. Hello. Hiya. Um, Ian Rankin. Is that alright if I come in every yes. week around? Is yes. that fine? Yes. Hi. When I was a wee kid, this staircase always seemed incredibly steep to me. Of course, I would play it sliding down it, bumping all the way down it. And when I was very young, that was my sister's room, and this was my room. Yeah, it was tiny then, and it's tiny now. There's a hot water tank there. I'm not sure if that's now built in. Had a single bed here. I forget what was there. It was a little secret cupboard that would keep, well, that would be the wardrobe, a little secret cupboard. And I would do a lot of writing and hiding the bits of poetry and song lyrics and what have you underneath the um, mattress so my mum and dad wouldn't find them. And I had posters everywhere, posters of pop stars and favourite bits of writing from music magazines and things. I would cut them out and I would have a, almost like having a file of stuff but actually pinned to the wall so I could flick through it. And John Gregg and George Best. And I tried to make a wee world, a little self-enclosed world. But this whole cul-de-sac where we are just now, um, families all moved in at the same time, so it was very close-knit. Um, everybody knew everybody else. And I had family all around here. Two doors away was one aunt and uncle. Over the back fence was another aunt and uncle. It was like living in the middle of a tribe. 
Uh, and that was fantastic in so many ways. It was such a safe place to grow up. But on the other hand, it could be quite restricting. You felt a little bit, you didn't want to be different from anybody else. You know what I'm hearing? I'm hearing birds. Under that towel, I think there are birds. Hello. Hello. This is St Ninian's Church. My sister Linda swears that when I was an infant, I wouldn't let my mum go past this spot so that I could have a conversation with him. He was my friend. He was my imaginary character. Uh, even back then as an infant, I was having this other life where I was making stuff up and reimagining Carden Den as somewhere perhaps more exciting than it was in real life. <laughs> 